Hello friends, my name is Gisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the compute method which is available in map interface. So this, in, uh, this method uh, has been added in JDK 1.8 and you can see this method uh, under the JDK. This method basically is a default method and this is implemented within the interface itself and this interface returns type is generic one and this accepts key right that is also generic and another parameter by function which is a functional interface right and saying that remapping function right so this method replaces a value of a key uh, by the value computed from the remapping function okay if the compute function returns null if this compute function returns null uh, then entry for that key is removed from the map if the key is not present then entry new entry is added right so that's all brief discussion about the uh, compute method so let's try to understand this api through an example so i have already written a source code offline uh, so just i wanted to save some time so that's why i have written this code offline and I will try my best to explain you so here you can see I have created a project with my compute default method demo and here I have created a class with main method and I have created a map so let's make it instead of hash map we can say linked hash map so that we don't want to mess up the order and we don't want to suffer the order so I would say so linked hash map instead of hash map. Sorry. Linked hash map instead of hash map. We know that hash map does not maintain the order, so that's why. So here I have created a map, right? And map just I'm putting two keys, right? Key with uh, one and two uh, both is having a value as java if i try to print this map then definitely this is gonna print one equal to java and two equal to java right now recompute the values so here map dot compute and i have passed this key and i have written a lambda expression right as i have shown you this method accepts by function as an argument and by function is a functional interface and by function has a method if you look into this then go to the inside by function has a method is called apply so we can write uh, I mean lambda expression for this apply method so this apply method accepts two input arguments and you can perform operation on these two uh, input and you can return the output right so all are generic so here I have written a lambda expression key old value and what I am saying old value so old value is java itself corresponding to key one and just I am concatenating a script same actions I am performing for the I mean second entry which is having a key with two and and finally I am trying to print this value right so for for key the value, value would be after computing this operation java is skip right and value corresponding to key 2 is java framework right so that output will get for this sop now map dot compute and here i am passing key 1 which is already holding uh, this will hold java script right when control will reach here and key value and here i mean uh, this remapping function just we are hard coding null so in this case what will happen so as this remapping function is returning null so entry corresponding to key 1 will be removed from the map so that will the action and this will return you the null right and entry to corresponding one key 1 will be removed from the map now next uh, if map dot compute and we are passing 3 right so key 3 is not available in the map so nothing will happen and this will return you the null but in this case when key is available and computing function is returning null then corresponding entry will be removed from the map so that's the difference difference between these 
to if key is not available then nothing will happen and this will return you the null so r1 you will get null r2 also null but internal implementation over here if because key one is available so that will be that entry will be removed from the map and that will return a null here three is not available in the map so nothing will happen if uh, i'll try to what uh, map and dot compute so let's copy this line as it is and what i'll do so say r3 and at this time key i'm going to specify uh, 30 and value i'm going to return some string like a spring framework so as this computing function does not return any null value right and entry i mean key uh, 30 is not available in the map so in this case this entry will be added into the map so 30 and corresponding value a spring framework will be added into the map and if you try to print r3 so let's see what is written by this line of code all right so let's try to run and whatever we have discussed let's compare the output so if you look into the output in here so original map we are printing so one equal to java and two equal to java there are two entry in this map so that is getting printed now here one right and we have written a lambda expression for functional interface now what basically try to we are just taking the old value for this key and just we are concatenating the script for key two also we are performing the same action so we'll get the uh, one equal to javascript and two equal to javascript over here right now next now one uh, for key one we have written a lambda expression but this computing function is returning null so cross only key will be removed from the map so right so if i try to print r so this is printing null and uh, entry corresponding to key one will be removed from the map now next line of code again we have made use of the map dot compute and here key three and we have written a lambda expression and lambda expression computing function is returning null so key three is not as computing function is returning null so and key 3 is not available in this map so nothing will happen and this will return you the null so that's why we are getting the null right so let's move ahead now map dot compute and at this at this time we are passing key as 30 and we have written the lambda expression but computing function is returning some string right a spring framework so this key is not available and computing function is returning none null none null value so this entry will be added into the map so 30 equal to 30 would be the key and value corresponding value would be the spring framework and that will be added and value will be returned by this method right so that's why r3 we are getting a spring framework and uh, finally if you print map then 2 equal to java uh, uh, sorry java framework and 30 equal to spring framework and uh, this entry will be removed because of this action right which already i have explained so i hope you understood how uh, compute method which is available in the map interface box so in next video tutorial i am going to discuss about uh, next method which is called compute if absent right and further next video series will also discuss about the compute if present and merge method as well so please be with me over there and thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed learning this and this source code i'm gonna upload on the github so that you can download and run your you know your local computer and one thing you'll have to keep in mind if you want to run this code on your local machine then make sure that you have installed jdk 1.8 on your machine else this is not gonna run this will uh, give you the compilation error right so that's all in this video tutorial. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video tutorial.